Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to show you this box set that I just got. It's the beautiful Airplane Flies High by the Smashing Pumpkins. Just kind of want to do an in-depth review of it. I found this at my local record store and it's the first time I've ever seen this box set in a store. You know, you can see, find it anywhere online for relatively high prices. But I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for this because if you're a Smashing Pumpkins collector, and you want this and you can't find a reasonable price one, you'll probably be mad. So let's just say that I bought, I found this for under $30 um, and it's in like mint condition pretty much. So, um, but yeah, I'm a huge Smashing, Smashing Pumpkins fan. Um, kind of lost faith in them, in them after the re their reunion. So, I've, you know, I'm mainly a fan of pre-reunion Smashing Pumpkins, but this is something I've always wanted. Um, so, and I just saw this and I just had to have it, but it's, uh, a compilation, not a compilation, but it's a collection of all the singles from the Melancholy and the Infinite Sanus record, um, the CD versions. Um, so, which they were, they didn't make vinyl pressings of these singles except for remixes of 1979, which isn't included in this, obviously. But so, this, so here's the you know the front with the white handle and the latch, which you know kind of like a lunchbox. Open it up. Very beautiful. Um, it says this box belongs to, and you can write your name in it. It's unwritten. It's in mint condition. So it has. Oops, it has five singles. I had a count there. Um, first, I'll show you this this booklet drawing of the airplane. Um, this is just a very cool booklet with um, a photo and a lyric to every single song that's on the box set. This has various uh, pictures of the band members and uh, with all the lyrics, this is wonderful. And it has, you know, the, in the back it has ah, the logo and uh, it also has this selection right here. It's just a disc disc uh, full discography of, of what they've released up until this point. And then, it also came with this. It's just kind of a. I think this was taped on the box. It's just a kind of a track listing and stuff. And then um, this one came with just like a one of these things. You know. Usually every National Pumpkin CD you buy has one of those. So, um, so let me show you what's inside. If you're not familiar with it, this is the Tonight Tonight EP. It's got seven tracks on it, so that they they really make this worthwhile. These EP they put out EPs instead of singles, really. Um, this box set has I mean, has thirty three songs, so it's more than a melancholy album. So, um, right, it does, yeah. So it's pretty crazy, um, and it's you know great great condition. This single is more of, since it's, since it's the song tonight tonight, it's more of the soft and delicate Smashing Pumpkins B sides like. Uh, Rotten Apples and Jupiter's Lament. Those are two like fan favorites right there. Um, so that's a really cool one. Next is Bullet with Butterfly Wings EP. This is an interesting one. Um, so it has the first song, the title track. This, of course, everyone knows that one. And I'm still not tired of that song either. Um, but then it has a then it has a James Eha track called Set, Said Sadly, beautiful song. And then it has covers like um, You're You're All I've Got Tonight by the Cars. Clones were all. It's Alice Cooper. The Cure's Night Like This. Uh, Missing Persons Destination Unknown. And Blondie's Dreaming. So, a cover version. So, th honestly, this is probably the, my least, the, probably the least interesting thing um, musically they've done out of this collection here. But, um, it's, it's I mean, it's still listenable to me, though. I really like the A Night Like This. It's sung by James E. Ha, and I like his song, Said Sally, as well, that he wrote. He's a great songwriter. Next is the Zero EP. Um, most famously has pist the, the Pistachio medley, which is like a half an hour um, medley of all these unreleased kind of snippets of uh, this jamming they do. It's crazy. Uh, here's the back cover. And then this one actually has a booklet, sort of. Just has, has lyrics and stuff, so. 
this was more more the heavier EP since it's zero. You know, it's got to be heavy. So um, has Marquee and Spades, which is one of the best heavy Smashing Pumpkin songs, in my opinion. Here's probably my favorite one, the 1979 EP. Love the cover with the and in the back with a bowling shoe. This has two of James Eha's best songs, "The Boy" and and uh, "Believe." And one of Billy Corgan's high moments, in my opinion, set the rate of Jerry. So, um, and 1979 is probably my favorite radio single that they ever put out. Um, it's just so timeless, and it just the song and the music video for it just epitomizes the 1990s to me. So, and lastly, the le the least known song and EP out of all these is 33. Um, never hear this on the radio, I, at least not where I live, but um, has a version of My Blue Heaven piano, it's beautiful, and this has the Airplane Flies High, the title track to the box set, which is just an epic eight and a half minute heavy jam song, um, and the bells, which, you know, Jim Z. Hogan, um, back cover of the linen, and uh, kind of a communist themed uh, uh, cover, I don't know why, but, so, that's what's included with this, if you've never seen it, like, you know, I've never seen, seen pictures of it, but I've never actually seen it, so, I was really thrilled, I didn't know, I didn't even know about this book, but, so, um, really, I was really stoked to find that, anyway, and for the price, I just couldn't not believe it, I just had to pick it up, so, um, I know that I've seen this, uh, Buddy Bopper has one of these, and he, one of his, one of his videos where he's showing um, off his his cabinet and his turntable and, and his uh, shelf of records. He has this box set sitting next to his turntable too. So, thought that was really awesome because um, you know, first Smashing Pumpkins fans, this is really just a highlight of the collection, as well as a melancholy and the infinite sadness vinyl, which I do not have and probably will never get due to its uh, rarity and extremely high prices, though. But you never know. I found this for cheap, so, um, so yeah, this is great, great cover, um, mint condition pretty much, so I'm really enjoying this, and um, hope you guys enjoy this quick, uh, showing off this. Thanks, guys.